All right, how's it going, everyone? Uh, I'm Zach from CSU. Uh, the reason we wanted to start doing these 10-minute uh, webinars is so that we can go over some of the cool features that we're pushing out um, and really share some of the insights that we've been getting from thought leaders in the industry. And um, you know, that's one of the cool parts about working at CSU is we talk to a lot of people who have run very successful businesses. They all want to make uh, tracking, number analysis, uh, gamification of the real estate business happen. We talk with them, we get insights, we move it into our platform, we share it with all of you. So the two main things that we wanted to hit today was one, how do you actually make tracking your key sales activities every day? How do you make that a reality? Um, and two, how do you make sure that all the data that's tracked is accurate and that you can rely on it to actually run your business? So we only got 10 minutes, so we're gonna jump into it real quick and uh, run over all of that. Um, one, so the first question we talked about was, how are we gonna make daily activities a reality? How are we gonna actually make sure that we're tracking um, everything that we need to track? And that all happens in our app, so I'm just gonna pull that up and uh, we can run over that. Awesome. Okay, so what we're looking at right now is, hopefully you should be seeing that. There we go. Um, what we're looking at right now is CSU. Uh, hopefully you've seen this before. And uh, tracking's pretty simple. So one of the uh, key or core concepts that we've talked about is you gotta make tracking a habit, just like you make going to the gym or eating healthy. Um, you're doing it every day. If you wanna see results, you're doing it every day. So opening your CSU app should be a daily thing. You should be jumping in here every day, and this is where you should run your business um, and manage your key activities. Right here in the center tab, that's where you're tracking. So every time you make a contact, uh, you know, as you do it, make sure you're, you're bumping that up and uh, you know, watching your results grow over here on your homepage. Now, adding someone to your pipeline is easy. So as you're, as you're contacting, you're gonna set up appointments. And all you're gonna do is hit this little plus button that's down in the right corner. Um, and that's gonna pull up your ad client screen. And to keep this simple, you're really only adding the things that drive your business. You're adding the, the name, the transaction amount, and how much you and your business are gonna make off of that deal. So if, if I'm you know, adding an appointment for myself, I'll just go Zach, uh, you know, add in my first and last name, uh, whatever the transaction is worth. So you know, 300,000, I should specify, you want to say whether it's a buyer or a listing up here. So let's say it's a listing, um, add in the transaction amount, your percentage of GCI. So if that's 3%, you can just calculate it. And then if you're on a team, you know, maybe you have a split. So say this is 50%, right? Add that in, calculate it. Now you got your GCI and your paid income. That's all you need to be adding in for now. Um, and then everything is driven by dates. So when you set that appointment, let's say I set the appointment for today, it will count that appointment as if I went on it today. Um, and you'll see that for some appointments just went up, right? And I can come back over and more, pull back up my clients. Um, I can find that deal. So there's, there's me again, Zach Muir, right? That transaction. Um, let's say I set the appointment in the future and then I ended up actually not going on the appointment. So I want to make sure that I come in here and clear this out so that my data stays accurate. Everything is driven by those dates. So as long as you're on top of those, everything that's displaying um, in your mobile app and on the online dashboards, uh, it's all going to be accurate. So it's really simple. You just got to make sure um, you're doing it daily and actually looking at your pipeline. I mean, these are things that this is the heart of your business, right, is your clients the deals that you're working with and the daily activities that you're doing uh, to get more of those clients and more of those activities. So, you know, going back to it, if let's say we set that appointment today and I ended up signing them today, um, that's awesome, right? And then let's say, you know, I put them under contract a few days from now and I know that their settlement date is, you know, let's say sometime in September, right? And saving that and then working with my pipeline, I mean, these are things that a lot of businesses are doing on a whiteboard or in a notebook and they're trying to manage all these things. But if you're really looking at it every day and getting into the mobile app every day 
tracking the activities, watching your pipeline. Once again, this is the heart of your business. Um, that's when you're going to start to see those results and that's when you're going to have accurate data. This is how you, you know, in response to that first question, how do you make tracking these activities a reality? Well, it's just like exercising, just like, you know, you want to eat healthy, you have any goal, think about it every day, do it every day. You're going to start driving it. You're going to start hitting those goals. All right. So the second question um, that we get a lot and that we wanted to run over today was how can you, as a team, so say you man, you're managing a team, how do you make sure that all that data stays accurate? So when you're looking at your dashboard, you can see, okay, you know, we have this much under contract. This is what we have coming down the pipeline next month. Uh, this is where we can improve. But you gotta make sure that data is accurate first. So let's, uh, I'll share the desktop now um, and we can take a quick look at that. Let's see, share screen. Okay, perfect. Hopefully that's popping up. Now, uh, let me just check. Yeah. Okay, so the way that this is going to work is you can come in as a transaction manager or as a transaction coordinator. You can go admin, team settings, sorry, not team settings, admin transactions. And now you're looking at all your team's transactions, right? So you as a transaction coordinator can say, okay, as soon as the agents, they've done the work to put this person under contract, now you can, all, you can manage it right from in here. It's all, everything you need to manage that transaction is right here. Um, and I'll show you how that works. So you can pull this up. Um, you can look at, you know, everything that the agent has already put in, and then you can go in and put things in such as, you know, the deadlines, uh, you know, due diligence, settlement dates, and, you know, make sure that as a transaction coordinator, you can manage that all the way through. Now, to keep things simple and to keep it from getting clustered or for, for, from too many people working on the same thing, um, if I just go back to, once again, admin transactions, you can lock right here um, your transactions. So uh, a cool way that we've seen a lot of our, uh, you know, the, the teams that we work with run this is, Agents are tracking their activities up until they put someone under contract. Once that person goes under contract, the transaction coordinator can come in, hit lock, and then they can run it from there. And once again, they can manage all the settlement, uh, you know, settlement dates, financing deadlines, all that. They can manage it right here and they have complete control over it. So that answers part two of the question. How do you ensure, um, that your data is actually accurate. So quick recap, I know it's been quick, um, but one, how are you gonna make number tracking and, and uh, you know, tracking your daily activities a reality? Well, it's not that hard. This is the heart of your business again. So make sure you're getting in your app every day, you're looking at your pipeline, because that's what's gonna drive your business and then track your activities every day. You make that a habit, it's gonna, it's gonna be simple. Two, how do you make sure your data is accurate? Um, one, well, going along with that, if you're tracking every day, it's going to be on point. But two, if you're using a transaction coordinator, have them jump in, have them, uh, you know, they can lock in and manage transactions uh, from their desktop. So thanks everyone for sharing. Uh, leave us a comment if you have any questions, reach out to us. Uh, we're hoping to start doing these a little more frequently so that, you know, we can run over new features. Uh, some cool features that we just barely rolled out are uh, challenges for your team. Um, showing that right now. So you can assign point values and um, run different contests based on different uh, key activities, uh, depending on what your business needs. So really cool stuff. Uh, hopefully uh, in maybe next week or soon here, we'll be able to run over that and uh, give you guys some insights on uh, those new features. So thanks for joining. Uh, once again, leave us a comment if you have any questions. Uh, thanks guys.